but it's a start. First fish. Alright guys, little largemouth, not a keeper. First fish of the day out here today practicing for the uh, NTX Bass Elite Solo Series, Fall Solo Series, stop number two on Lake Tacoma. And uh, so far, that's our first bite, or our first catch. We had, uh, I think, two or three other bites that didn't connect on drop shot and a swim bait. But um, water temps between 78 and 80 degrees. Fish are starting their fall transition. A lot of them are actually pretty far back in these creeks already pushing bait. All of the bait is in the backs of these creeks already. So right now I'm just covering water, trying to find, you know, a few creeks that have some bigger than average size fish. Um, just focusing on isolated boulders and lay downs on the bank with a popper, a spook, throwing a drop shot, a wacky rig, and a jig, uh, and a spinner bait. So y'all stay tuned. I think I like it. swim into a pile, pitch the, pitch the uh, drop shot with a KVD dream shot on, on it to him, into the pile and watch him eat it on the scope. Big spot. It might actually be a mean mouth, guys. I think that's a mean mouth cross large mouth and spot. I'm not exactly sure. But my first decent bite. I don't know, he's got a big mouth for but he's got yeah, that's a mean mouth. I think that's a mean mouth cross between a spot and a large mouth. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments, but you can see he's got the rows of spots on his belly, like spotted bass do, and he's a little bit darker. But his mouth is big for a spotted bass. Normally, spotted bass's mouths are smaller, more like a small mouth. Um, let me put him down here real quick, see where his jawline goes. Yeah, guys, and his jaw goes behind the eye. Um, spotted bass and small mouth jaws end either before or at the middle of the eye, largemouth and behind, his ends behind. So he's definitely part largemouth, but with those spots on that belly, I think this is a cross between a largemouth and a spot. And uh, if it is, which I'm pretty sure it is, that's the first one of those I've ever caught. So that's really cool. I've caught mean mouth, small mouth, uh, small mouth spotted bass cross, but never a spot largemouth cross. So super cool fish for me, really cool. And I caught him on top water. Um, so can't beat that, gonna let him go. I'm gonna get a weight real quick just to kind of get my bearings. Give him some water real quick. One fourteen. So almost a two pounder, probably a two pounder on a tournament scale. See ya.
There we go, guys. First keeper of the day. My spook was messed up and he still bit it. Got a little bit of schooling action going on here, guys. Little spotted bass. I think I had an even bigger one blow up just before him. Like, maybe double his size. It looked like it was about a three pounder. I'm gonna check in and see if he's a keeper. But I might be on to something here, y'all. First keeper of the day. On the spook. Where did you say you were? Oh yeah, Alberta. Okay. Uh, where are you going after that? Yeah, I would. Uh, I would at least. I was gonna tell you to do that. Try that and just yeah, focus on like the secondary like points that kind of don't look like anything. Yeah. And just the key is bait. If you can find bait on the points, the bass are there. I'm gonna drop shot all day. I haven't got a single bite on it. Or that's not true. I got one bite on it on this point. Oh my god, I just had another one. Um Oh my god, dude. It's like every cast, but yeah, it's jerk bait and top water is what you need. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Cool. No, I've I've caught a lot actually today. Yeah, I found a, I'm actually kind of intrigued by this. I hope that they're still here next week because if they are, I'm gonna have them for myself. Um, I found this little like clay point that's kind of just at the mouth of this big creek. All right guys, so as you guys saw, kind of tough practice for me on Lake Texoma. Um, you know, I practiced two days. There's two days in this video. And uh, the first day was really tough, um, but luckily I did see a few things that clued me in um, and then just, you know, uh, kind of got a few bites that I didn't actually catch that kind of clued me into some things. So hopefully that pans out in a tournament. And then uh, the second day I caught him a little bit better, um, <laughs> kind of. I, I went all day long without catching anything, and then you guys saw I kind of got on that point. And it was like every cast for 10 or 15 minutes, I was getting either, either getting bit or catching a fish on a jerk bait in the top water. Uh, and I also had a few bites on a drop shot there. So that point had a lot on them and they were kind of schooling on bait. Um, but other than that, I didn't find anything that second day. But between what I found the first day and what I found the second day, I think I have a plan uh, that I can run for the tournament. So we'll see what happens. I could eat those words. The tournament uh, is actually tomorrow from the day I'm filming this, but uh, it'll actually be you guys will see this video a few hours after the actual tournament is finished and then you'll see the tournament video uh, a few days after that. So hopefully it pans out. Sorry that we didn't have any footage from Ian and his practice for this tournament. Um, he forgot to bring the camera uh, both times. Or actually, I think the first time he brought the camera and it wasn't working. And then the second time, the second day he practiced, he just forgot to bring the camera. So we didn't get any footage of Ian practicing, uh, but his practice, was, his practice was also extremely tough. So hopefully one of us at least can get on him uh, in this tournament so that you guys tomorrow so that you guys can have an enjoyable video to watch from the tournament and at least learn a little something but if not we still appreciate you guys so much for sticking with us um ntx bass elite solo fall solo series stop number two on lake texoma tomorrow uh today actually it's going on as you guys watch this or it went on today right before this went live so wish us luck appreciate y'all watching we'll see you on the next one thanks here we go, at the top of the class on a roll, and it's time to run it up, yeah you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor, ayy, on a roll, here we go, here we go, yeah we winning by a landslide.
slide. Never see me coming, I'm a landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command.